fight game. Last fight. You're a warrior. You've dished out some pain, but you've taken a lot of it over the course of your career. Every time you've bled, bruised, and injured yourself, it takes a toll. You're no spring chicken, and we can see it out there in the gym and in the octagon. It's time to call it quits, but maybe just after one more fight. Make it one to remember. So, I'm not in the UFC. I'm in the WFA. 42-0, and 0, the champion with 31 uh, title defenses. And that's actually the first time I've seen some positive messages down in the bottom right. I've never, like, throughout this whole thing, you kind of just get heckled for staying here. And they're like, oh, they, you're going to get knocked out by bum fighters. And, oh, you didn't really beat anybody. You know what I mean? You don't really get a lot of positivity. And I'm pretty sure I won't once I finish up this training here. But let's make sure we end up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a lot of bums that you fight. So basically, if I get like a half star, one star, two star opponent, I'll put it on. I put a difficulty based on how strong the fighter is. So as you can see, you know, some of my fights will actually go quite quite the distance. Well, those ones haven't. Where is it? There was one that I had that was like super long. I don't see it. It was three rounds here. There was one that went four rounds. I'm pretty sure that was recent, I thought. I don't know. I've been playing a lot today. I've been watching a lot of The Punisher. And uh, it's a good show if you haven't seen it. The Punisher on Disney+. Plus. It's a pretty good show. It's not, has none of my fights gone past the third round? I could have sworn I had one that went to the fourth round. I guess not. <laughs> but they have been tough fights. There was one opponent that I had, I can't, I don't see her here. But she had insane power. There was some that could wrestle really well. There was some that uh, were just really quick. We're not fighting this person for our last fight. But as you can see, you can only decline one fight, which is super lame. But, you know, I wish they gave you more freedom with this mode, bro. In career mode. Okay, okay, this might actually work. 30 G road, number two ranked G Giovanna, Banya? I don't even know how to say that, it's, it's Portuguese. But she's three and a half stars, we'll put on a high difficulty for her. Four weeks to train. I'm not gonna show the training, don't worry. I'm gonna show actually some of the fights leading up to this one. And who knows, this might even be my opponent. It might actually say, oh, this person's injured. Um, you're gonna take a late replacement or whatever. So who knows? But you'll also see in the top right, um, my evolution points yeah i don't i don't i don't need those like usually all it is just doing this and no i'm not using a mod or cheating or anything i legit just played it out and you know you only really get so many tools you can use in this uh mode they only give you so many mo moves once you uh stay in wfa like my only true training partners were claudia gadelia and um valentina shevchenko and you know, i got some cool moves to come with that but for the most part none at all you know I don't even think I used my perks at all. I think I just used the one they gave me from the beginning. So I guess while we're here, we'll just maximize our perks before we get into our last fight. There you go, higher altitude. I like that one. But yeah, I'll show you what I mean by I don't really have a repertoire at all. Nothing to really use. Like, look at this. The standard strikes is what you get pretty much for stand up. Um, and then you get pretty much the standard kicks too, plus a couple of ones I can learn. Um, I didn't really learn the actual spinning kicks, like, like the ones where you have to hold multiple buttons. It just, it just doesn't seem like it's worth the time. You know what I mean? But, hey, who knows? If you guys are going to do those spinning stuff, let me know. But it seems like it's way too hard to do. So I just don't even bother with it. But, yeah. Let's get into this last fight. Also, we're going to do a montage, and then we'll jump into the fight. Because you don't get to do entrances in WFA, which is also pretty lame. Alright, so I actually did end up getting some positive messages on the bottom right for once. Usually it's like, ah, I'm glad she's going or whatever, shit like that. 
so we're cool. No, I'm not a female, by the way, if you're a new viewer. <laughs> My character is in the game. Um, what do we do? Do we end it on legendary? Fuck it, why not, right? That'll be interesting. That's cool that you can change the legendary difficulty. That's gonna make this shit annoying as fuck, though, I can tell. But sometimes it seems like difficulty doesn't really matter, because if you look at the, um... Let me show you the career difficulty. I have that on normal, right? So it might not even be that bad. Or maybe it will be, who knows. Here we go. It could be funny because, or funny and interesting because, you know, of my performance and how me, me get my ass whipped or whatever. Or it's just gonna be being angered the whole time, who knows. 36 and there's 32, interesting. One of my opponents, like, they'll say that they have, like, a certain background, a certain fighting style, and then they just don't commit to it. Like, one opponent was like, oh, okay, I'm a wrestler. Didn't go for one takedown and was hitting, like, Mike Tyson, bro. This shit was wild. There we go. Mm. The reason why, another reason why I like WF is that most of the fights stay on the feet. You don't really get spammed with takedowns too much when you, when you fight here. But it's just not as exciting because, you know, the gear that you wear, um... There's no commentary, the crowd isn't as loud. You know what I mean? That kind of takes you out of it a little bit. It should definitely let you have interest in WWE though. It should be like the Ultimate Fighter interests in like UFC 2. It should be like that. Really short and simple. Not too flashy, you know, shit like that. I don't see why not. You could definitely have some uh, one person commentary too. I don't know. It's like they don't want it to be that fun. They just kind of just like, well, you're going to buy a UFC game. Just fans will buy this game, so we're just going to do whatever. And they change some quality of life stuff, but for the most part, it's just not really as cool as it could be, you know? I'm not saying they have to make an arcade game. A lot of people misinterpreted the video that I made. I was talking about what I wanted for the game. I don't need to be an arcade game. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying give people more stuff to do. That's what I'm saying. But some people just want to just fight. Okay, make sure that's in the game. Of course, that has to be there, right? Career mode online, sweet, cool, that's great. But like in career, some people like fucking career mode, like I do, and you know, you know, just hit all your audiences. Why not give everybody, you know, try to give everyone what they want as best you can. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure I'm gonna have to approach this one. I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to like just kind of stay in her face and bombard her. Ooh, maybe that's what it is. You saw that, right? And just stood there and took that. Okay, good uppercut. I walked into it. Get over Zelda. Ooh, good move. Ooh, okay. Trying to go to the body. There we go. Good God. The computer gets a lot of moments like that against me. It's not good. I don't really get a lot of moments like that against the computer. I usually end up like rocking them or knocking them down. They usually get that like flashy shit when they hit you. Mm. Like right there, there should have been something. That was a great little counter for me, that front kick. Mm. See? But that's what they get. They get all that cool shit. There we go. Mm. They're piecing me up. It's like I'm winning, but I'm not, you know what I mean? Or, or is it back and forth? Who knows? Tried it. Ooh, tried it. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. It's like they seem like they're technically better, but I think my stats are helping me win this one. Probably. Like if we were fighting on an even playing field with stats, would they would I be winning this? That is the question. I max out everything. I mean, like, why not? Why would I like not max out everything? They're respectful with it, I like that. Touching gloves. Ooh, interrupt my leg cake. Nice. Body cake. Okay. There we go. Mm. Ooh, there we go. Oh wow, I tried to figure out. Do we both go to the body right there? That was kind of cute. Hmm. Hmm. 
I know that left side's busted all the way up. Oh, tried it. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Stop my freaking elbow. Interesting. Ah. Mm. Got me backing up. Okay. Took a lot of there. Good luck, kid. Most competitive fight I've had in a minute. I'll say that. And I fought like a five star too and destroyed them in like the first round. Nice. Yeah, you definitely can't get GOAT status in this one. If you stay in WFA, just so you know. That doesn't happen. It would be cool though if you could leave WFA as the champion and fight for the UFC title immediately. That would be sick as hell. But you know. It is a video game. Like I know you don't do it in real life, but it is a video game. Like come on. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes it gets too real. Oh, good shit. Good shit. That was really smart. Me over here trying to spam. Knock you out. Yeah. And you punished him before. Oh, my God. Hmm. Okay. That's just a little fight here. That's a little scrap here. Okay. Hmm. What are you doing that? Okay. Good dodge. To the body. Body again. There we go. There we go. There we go again. Mm. Mm. Ooh. A lot of my uh, the defense is me blocking, not really using a lot of head movement. But I guess the head movement comes in when I throw punches, though, like where I target. Mm. Ooh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I think, look at you, dude. Oh! Mmm. Give me that arm. Ah, well, I tried it. I had to try it. That would have been cool. That would have been pretty cool. They probably would have survived it, though, because they had a full bar. But that was kind of sick. That might have been a 10 H. Jeez. Rolled her damn ankle. Y'all saw when Brian Ortega rolled his ankle, bro? That was disgusting. I didn't even start yet, and he still found a way to win. I wonder if his performance was hindered in the beginning because he rolled his ankle at the start. Maybe. But then again, that is that year. On the feet, that year is, is dangerous. Very dangerous. People like to say he got fraud checked. Like, Brian Ortega is dangerous as hell. He almost submitted it both three times, but you know, people see what they want to see in MMA, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the fans are like that. Sometimes I'm one of them. Sometimes I'm like, damn, Brandon Randall beat uh, Brandon Rival, but he, he did not. Went active enough. Oh my god. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Die. Ooh, good dodge. Good dodge. Tried it. Okay. Okay. Mm. Please don't get dropped by like, a lane punch. Please don't do that to me. Make it interesting, you know? Like, like I'm, if I'm gonna beat you, you know what I'm saying? It's my, oh, okay, okay. It's my last fight, I gotta get cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Thought you had me rocked. Stepped in and just Don Jones your shit. I don't even like Don Jones. Oh my god. Hit the dab on him. I shouldn't say that. I did though. <laughs> That's exactly what just happened. Mm. Jesus. Unbelievable knockout. Love that announcement. I come from Bruce Buffer's job. I got performance of the night. I haven't got performance of the night one time this entire time I'm fighting WFA. I'm surprised they gave that to me. What I'm gonna do with this money? My, my career is over. Come on. They had me beaten. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she was landing more. She was piecing me up. She was. She was. But I was, I was just the harder hitter. I think that's really what it came down to. I just had more power. 
damn a 10-8 round in the second I'm a beast I'm a beast let's see what this final message is that step through elbow was nasty longevity damage career retirement time keeps ticking regardless of how we lead our or lead our lives and unfortunately your time is up we all want to be the greatest and but that belongs to the select few. Don't worry. Don't think what don't think what you should have done or if only had more time. You did great. You put on the four ounce gloves, walked through the octagon, and put on some of the best fights the sport has ever seen. You bled, hurt, and injured yourself on your journey. Sadly, all that adds up. It's time to call it a career. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't that some shit? But they treat it like I don't have 32 title defenses. Who else has that ever? Anywhere? Who? Nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh what is this? I'm a legend in MMA. Y'all look at income to UFC. 43 and 0 was crazy. But you know, that's how it is, bro. Then you just be like, yeah, but you fought a bunch of bums. That's how it is in real life, you know? Like, who was watching Michael Chandler like that before he came to UFC? I know I wasn't, and I found him. I, once I saw he was on, he was about to fight Dan Hooker, I looked him up. And that dude was a beast in Bellator, bro. But not a lot of people knew that. Maybe maybe, maybe I was the one who was out of the blue. Maybe I'm projecting. But yeah, dude. It's just fun. It's just fun staying here. Because I'm not fighting the same fighters over and over. Um, usually. It's like a lot of creative fighters. You get a lot of different looks. A lot of different styles or whatever. And most of it's on the feet. Which is fun. It's just fun. Now, I don't know if that was just how my experience was, you know, maybe I'll have a different experience, but if you ever, it's, it's five different saves you can have for career mode. You can at least have one of them just where you stay in WFA just to see how, what it's like, you know, just throwing it out there, but thanks for watching.